welcome to Collect Your Cars. I'm Lance, your host. I got to give a disclaimer on this show. It's already been a little bit crazy here before we even got started. Why do you do that whenever we're uh, I, Well, because, oh. you know, what you two over here, I mean, you know. Let me introduce my guests for the evening. First, we have Mr. Mark Petty. How you doing? Good. We have Mr. Bill Mergens, oh, our yes. cruising yes. reporter. And last week, if you remember, I showed a picture of Jim Diger, and I said, don't go by the picture, because he has aged since then. Well, if you'll get a good close-up, uh, you're aging well, Mr. Diger. Thank you. It is good to Thank see you. you. We have that guy. That guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looks like Father Time. <laughs> yeah. You know, and he's so much older than I am anyway. I thought it was your brother. Yeah, but pff, my bro he's, he's actually 30 days older 30 than days. me. See how much more well-preserved I am? 30 days. Or 31 days. You look good, 30. Jim. 30. 30 days. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. worry, you'll catch up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's coming right around the corner. All right. Well, good to have you with us. Uh, it's always good to have the associate producer on. By the way, a little bit later on, i got to talk to you about Mergen's getting closer and closer to the seat here. He's doing introductions now, show openings, stuff like that. I'll, I'll, I'll get with you later on. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll talk that. We'll <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble. Nah. Mm -hmm. It won't affect his pay a bit. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. You get paid? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Same okay. thing you do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, we had a fabulous weekend. Mr. Mergens, you were there, Quaker Steak and Lou. Yes, I was. They love the show up there. Great place in, to uh, Clearwater. It's great a place. phenomenal place for a car show. Uh, we had cars there from uh, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, uh, Charlotte County, uh, Englewood, Venice, you name it. They love it. And mm -hmm. I think as long as we keep this, the, the you know, every three month show, fifth Saturday, uh, they love coming up there. And I'll tell you, I think it's going to grow. We had a lot of people come up over the bridge. Um, the, the great part about it is they're going to see cars they will never see down here. Yeah. There's an awful lot of great stuff up there, but guys that stay local, just like there's guys that stay here. Mm -hmm. And I see it just between Bradenton, Sarasota, Venice, and Englewood. Yeah. You know, it's, it's almost like three different crowds. So anyway, but great stuff. I have got later on some announcements on some brand new shows, uh, new stuff that's uh, just uh, gotten confirmed uh, that we're going to be doing. So, but first, how about we get to a nice little film clip? Okay. Now this first one is from Quaker, Quaker Steak, Steak and Lube. Lube. We turned Mr. Mergens loose with a camera. Look at the front row. Roadrunner, GTO, Firebird, and Roadrunner. Ah, and every one nice. was nice to the next. In fact, the one in the right up front that was uh, that one best of show, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this is the '70 Mustang Grabber. Yes. Now, I didn't know they made a Mustang Grabber. Very few, very rare car. Yeah. yeah. Mark and Don Booker, and they're from Brooksville. It was very clean. Oh, excellent! Super he had just car. had it. Well, he had painted a while ago, but I mean, it was a brand new paint job, and uh, I was able to get some other shots of it. Uh, very excellent car, and something that uh, people don't see a lot of. Right. You, know, you, you heard of the Maverick Grabber. Right. Uh, but this is a Mustang Grabber, and uh, I don't remember exactly how many he told me that they actually had made, but it was not very many. Very nice now, detail. I didn't do a whole lot of movement and stuff. I, it's been a crazy week, so I just kind of threw this together, Bill. With the pictures, you give him all these excellent shots, and then yeah. he, you know, yeah, well, you and know. see, I backed off the shot so that you could zoom in, just like this one. We we're supposed to go zoom. Oh, yeah, he didn't. Yeah, well, I'm going to zoom. Everybody. It's a '67 Firebird. It's owned by Dave and Nancy Smith out of Largo. I like the color of this too. Yeah, really nice car. Nicely detailed. Um, you know, it's one of those, uh, you, you don't see, you know, Firebirds as many of, of course, mm -hmm. you see more Camaros. Yeah. And so to see a good, a well done uh, Firebird really is nice. Now, this was part of that front row. Yes, that was part of the front row. I think a couple of them up there were best of shows, Bill. Yeah, the uh, Roadrunner was the best of show. I mm -hmm. know that. I think they all actually won trophies, uh, that whole that whole four or five, and they all were, they all knew each other. Yeah. Um, and this is the car that actually sits next to it. 70 Roadrunner. 
446 pack. <laughs> I like that, Uncle Jim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent car. Yeah. Kenny and I believe it's Heide Heidemerit. I'm and they had sure the two cars. I think they they ha they also owned the uh, the GTO. GTO, right? And that was Karen, right. his wife Karen. So it's Kenny and Karen. Yep. With the Roadrunner and the GTO, yep. And the GTO was a convertible, so that was you know. Mm -hmm. Very cool stuff. We've got a lot more pictures to show them from this. There it is, my pistol grip. I and always they, like those interiors. Yeah, and they you know they trimmed it you know mm -hmm. in the same colors which really sets that interior off because you know, when it's just standard black you know sometimes it's not as no. yeah I looks very him. yeah very plain jane and the mini really me yep <laughs> gotta have the mini me excellent vehicle as was this truck oh yeah 59 this was the uh ford right Am I correct now mm -hmm. And there was a whole story about this. I mean, I think he bought it out of um, Golden Classics. Oh, really? Um, now, did you pick the name off of this one? Uh, no, I didn't have it. And, of course, it was on the sheet. That sheet, I said yeah. It, yeah mm -hmm. you know, uh, he slacked this week. He wasn't on the sheet. It certainly was. <laughs> <laughs> so I even zoomed in on it to make sure it was there. Yeah. But it's still a good-looking truck. There you go. Very stock, very, uh, very clean. And, and again, it's, that's kind of a color you don't see that often. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a blue, but it's a it's a different color blue. It's a different kind of blue. Yeah, there we go. And 61 Nash Metropolitan, and I believe it's John Sorrentino. And just your average Metropolitan convertible. I mean, you know, nothing too special about it. Hmm. Two fours. <laughs> yeah. Two, yeah. Two fours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, basic stock <laughs> engine. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, yeah, I don't. You know, the shot from underneath. I don't know if you can tell, but it's also a tubbed car. I mean, it is, this is a... How do you tub a Metropolitan? I have no <laughs> idea, but uh, I'll tell you what. And actually, I mean, he had no trunk. It was just the, it was just the two wheel wells and a uh, uh, and his fuel cell in between. That is right. I, I don't think you what can really see that. What size engine is that? You know, I did not really get uh, what size engine that was. Yeah. And, and that, it really doesn't machine. matter. It too doesn't big. matter. It's, yeah. yeah. Too big <laughs> is right. Oh, man. <laughs> a V8 with two four, four two big four barrels. Yeah. All brought to you in part by Keels and Wheels. This, this guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing that. We've been doing that guy so long. Um, I think that and the next time you go to a show, they're not going to remember your name anymore. You're they're just going to be that, that guy. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my um, wife calls me anyway. Does she? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Hey, at least your wife still calls you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got coming up, <clears throat> I'm going to do one quick plug and then we'll uh, do some commercials. Um, June the 20th, I want everybody to know it's the pre-Father's Day car show at Home Depot. I was up there today. You know I do the Home Depot in Englewood, Venice, Sarasota, um, and now Bradenton. So this will be four locations now. It's the 20th uh, of June. It's from, um, I believe it's uh, 10 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon or 9 to 2. Um, they're going to do trophies. They're going to have hot dogs and hamburgers free to the guys. Anybody who signs in, you'll get a coupon for the food. So they're going to feed you. Uh, we, we didn't do the pizza this time. We did that at the last two or three, so we figured we'd do something different. Um, it's going to be an excellent show. Father's Day. What a deal! The, the wives, all you, all you gals, all you gotta do is say, "Hey, here's your Father's Day present," and and go to a car show and go shopping. And none of the husbands will complain that they want to go in and shop while they're at the car show. Nope. See, mm -hmm. it what works out for everybody. There's gonna be a lot more of that guys out there. A lot more of that, that guys. Guy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 